Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the various concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding queries, quality, and percentage, and try to walk you through how we can develop queries in such problems. This question has been asked in Facebook interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, so let's read the question. So we are given a table called queries with four different columns and these are the data types of each of these columns. There is no primary key for this table. It may have duplicate rows. Okay. This table contains information collected from some queries on a database. Cool. The position column has a value from 1 to 500. So the third column. The rating column has a value from 1 to 5. Query with rating less than 3 is a poor query. Okay. Now, there are some definitions given to us. We define query quality as the average of the ratio between query rating and its position. Okay, so basically rating divided by position and the, then the average of it is the quality, the percentage of all queries with rating less than three. Okay, is called poor query percentage. So what we are asked to do is write a SQL query to find each query name, the quality and the poor query percentage. Okay. Both quality and poor query percentage should be rounded to two decimal places. Return the result in any order. Let's go through this example. So here we are given two different queries, right? A query name dog, query name cat. And then these are the different results associated with it. So the quality, what, how the quality is being defined here, it is the average of the ratio between query rating and its position. Okay. So how will, for dog, how do we calculate the quality? We do rating divided by position. So five divided by one plus five divided by two plus one divided by 200. And that comes out to be 2.5. So that is the quality for dog, right? And then the poor quality, poor query percentage was how many of these queries had rating less than three, right? So one query, so for this query for dog, the rating was less than three. So one out of, in total, there were three queries. So one out of three multiplied by 100 should be 33.3%. Similarly for cat, right? So two divided by five plus three divided by three plus four divided by seven comes out to be 0.66. And then again, how many of these queries ha uh, have rating less than three? So only this part, right? So one divided by three multiplied by 100 is 33.33%. Okay, so this is what we need to do. Okay, so to start writing this query, what we can do is from this table queries, we can keep this column query name, then make a new column, which contains for each of these rows contains the ratio of rating uh, divided by position, right? And the third column that we can create in this table is to know whether the rating for that particular row was less than three or more than three, right? So what we can do is from this table queries, what we can do is we can return the query name and then calculate the rating divided by position and let's alias it as something. Let's say, let's say this is the ratio. Okay. And, and the third column that we are creating is to know whether a particular row has a rating less than three or more than three, right? So we can use case when statements here. So case when rating is less than three, then else I will come back to what should we write in then, right? So else something, something and and then we can alias it as something, right? So now one thing that we can do here, 
So you remember uh, here we are asked to calculate the poor query percentage, right? So the thing that we would need to do is count for each of the query names, how many of the ratings are less than three and then take that number and divide it by in total how many queries are there for that particular query name, right? So one smart way to do is this, that if the rating is less than three, uh, if we assign the value one, right? So what will happen? So in this case, let's come here and see uh, how this will happen, right? So for dog, right? So let's take the query name dog. So since uh, we are we have written when rating is less than three, then assign uh, then uh, assign the value one, right? So here it would be, and let's say uh, else if it is three or more than three, else assign the value zero. So here it would be zero, zero, one. Right. So now when you sum these things, these three, uh, these three values, it would be one plus zero plus zero. So one divided by count star for this. So now how many rows the query name dog has three. So one divided by three. So you see, uh, this is how, and this is uh, a smart way of calculating that a poor query percentage. So that is why I have uh, written. So when rating is less than three, then assign a value of one, uh, else assign a value of zero. If you don't want to do this, then it will add one step more, right? So if you are assigning, let's say, when rating is less than three, you, uh, you are returning something less than three, and then else greater than or equal to three, then you will have to create another column where it says if less than three, you have one or things like that, or you need to count only those rows where the uh, rating column, uh, rating va column value ha is less than three, right? So, uh, but another or better way to do this is by doing this, right? And then we can alias it as a something called, let's say quality binary, right? So because we have uh, assigned binary values to this, what we can do now is alias, uh, put this entire thing in a common table expression. So the syntax with for common table expression is with CTE as we enclose the entire query in parentheses and CTE is just the name of the common table expression. You can write anything here. Now you have query name, a column called ratio, which is basically calculating the division of rating and position and a third column called quality binary where the value is one if the rating is less than three else it is zero. Now what we can do is from this common table expression we can group by query name right so for each of the queries we are asked to calculate the quality as well as the poor quality percentage. So from CTE group by query name, then we need to calculate, we then we need to return query name and then the quality, right? And how was the quality defined? The average of the ratio between query rating and its position. And we calculated the ratio as ratio between query rating and position and alias it as a ratio, right? So average of ratio. Another thing here, since it is mentioned that both quality and poor query percentage should be rounded to two decimal places. So this should be wrapped around the round function. So round average of ratio to two decimal places. And since the output has the table, the column name quality for this. So we alias it as, as quality and then go ahead and calculate the poor query percentage. So how do, how did we, uh, talked about 
calculating the poor query percentage we are summing the quality binary so basically add all the ones and all the ones signify the rating was less than three right and then you are dividing by the number of rows it has right so for dog how many rows three so one divided by three for cat there uh, only one rating was uh, less than three so one divided by how many rows cat has three so that and then what you are doing you have to much so cal you need to calculate the percentage right so you need to multiply this thing by 100 and then again this thing also needs to be rounded off to two decimal places so you put it in the round function so round and then to two decimal places right and the column name should be poor query percentage so we alias it as as poor query percent so yeah this looks good and now it is returning for every query name uh, the ratio or basically the quality rounded to two decimal places as well as the poor query percentage rounded to two decimal places right let's go ahead and run this and see if it gets accepted or not okay so this is accepted and our output is same as expected output let me submit the, this to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah it passes all the test cases and is accepted as well so yeah this is how we solve this question and again to remind we need to go step by step in this and in such kind of questions because if you see this question was not hard it was very easy just it had so many various aspects that we need to keep in mind while writing the query that uh, for beginners it might seem overwhelming but just try to develop the query as i i was doing so firstly implement a logic try to make new columns if you want save it into a common table expressions because common table expressions have advantages that it executes only once and it is very fast and efficient way of writing your sql code and secondly once you have that common table expression then you just follow the definition of quality or poor qu query percentage follow uh, we need to round it off how many decimal places we need to round it off what are the columns that we need to return what are the names of those columns that should be returned and uh, this question would be solved very easily so try it on your own let me know if this video was helpful in thinking about it in a more clear and concise way and let me know how did you guys found this vid video and I will see you guys in the next video.